Welcome back, travelers. It is Slider Havoc here, and we are back playing a little Infinity Evolved. And today we've got, well, I've got a big day planned. Hopefully we can get it all done. I think we can. I don't think it should be a big deal. We are heading to the end. It is time to take out that pesky ender dragon for two reasons. First of all, he's a pesky ender dragon. And second of all, because I want to get going on draconic evolution. As you can see, I have been collecting a little bit of this draconium dust. And long story short is I want to get going on it. Now, I think, I think it's just one of these dust, or it might be an ingot, to make the little tablet. And I'm looking for it, and I'm just not seeing it. Um... Where is it? Aha, there's the tablet right there. Okay. So this is made with stone and that. Okay, so we've got that awesome, awesome. We've got our tablet like so, and we can start getting going on Draconic Evolution. So yeah, I want to start being able to get up the Dragon Heart and then get some Awakened Draconium ingots. And that is the goal for today is to start heading in that direction right but to do that we're going to need some stuff first of all we are going to need an awesome awesome weapon and i've been doing my research and with all the nerfing of tinker's construct the days of the 100 hp bows are crossbows are just they seem to be gone what is going on over here i've, I've got squid just kind of coming through the wall that's that's interesting anyways I did create my first grinder room. Uh, right now, I've got Enderman in the spawner, and then I happen to find a skeleton spawner under one of those witchcraft haymen. So I put that in there, and we've got the spawn room going. And so I should have a decent amount. I just finished it up not too long ago. But I've got 57 ender pearls, so we're heading in the right direction there. Because that way we can find the end. Right? Right. But today, we are going to put our bow together and... If you guys have a better bow, a better bow design, please let me know. But I swear, I went through every single piece, and this was the best one I could come up with um, for speed as well as... See, I, I made one here, and it was my old school way with doing a Signilium uh, crossbody or crossbar, and then the body with uh, Thaumium, a uh, bond, uh, bonding, binding, yeah, a binding of uh, paper, and it just, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. It, it just, it didn't do it. So as a matter of fact, I need more paper. Um, and so I, I went through and checked every single like option. Oh, I need bowstring. Um, I need you right there. And this was the best I can come up with uh, for the time being. Now, there definitely probably is better bows out there. Don't get me wrong. And don't think that I believe that this is the best thing possible. This just happened to be the best one that I could come up with at the moment. So that's kind of what we're working with here. Uh, I need the crossbow. I need you. And I need the tough binding as well as the tool rod. You, I'm going to need you. And then the fletching I still have to make. Okay, cool. So basically what we're doing is we're going all plastic. Plastic seem to be the fastest that I could find um, without, you know, losing out too much on the the design itself. I don't know if it is the best by any means. I just, this was the best I could kind of come up with. And so that's what we're going to kind of rock today. So uh, you go there, you go there, you go, oh, okay, you in there. And let's see. So the draw speed is two seconds, durability kind of sucks, but the arrow speed is 7.5, which is really decent. And we can beef this guy up a little bit with mods and stuff like that. So that'd be okay. Now, Pokefunium is the best bolt I could find. And so I'm going to go with the Pokefunium bolt and see how that works out. I don't know if it is the best idea or not, but it's kind of what we're going with. So put you back there and then we'll put an endearium tip on it because as far as I know endearium will always be the best tip I like I said it's I've been playing and playing and playing around with it trying to figure it out but I just I don't know I don't know 100% but I do need to make a slime crystal and I forget how to make those well, let me do it over here because I mean if I'm gonna make it I'll make it right here so slime crystal um where are you at? There you are, right here. Slime crystals. You can see I got tons of slimes. Um, I just have to smelt out a muddy slime block. 
I, I can do that. How do I make you? Oh, I can definitely do that. There we go. And now, wrong one. Come over here. Get in here. There we go. And I don't need any fares at the moment. I have enough invar as it is. There we go. Slime crystal. Now I can go make the fletching. And we can see how bad a mamma jamma this actually is going to be. So, I actually, I don't think it's going to be all that great. I really, I, I'm very demotivated about this one right now. But we'll see. Um, and Dirium Bolts, uh, Repair Materials, and Dirium, Weight 10, Accuracy 96, Break Chance 1.7, Attack is only a half a heart. And that is seven hearts. That seems, that doesn't seem quite right. Well, let us get our modifiers here. I'm going to want some redstone. And I wish I could just pull this whole chunk out here. Let me put the rest of this stuff back that I don't need. Like so. And let's grab some quartz because obviously sharpness is going to help. And then I might have to put some extra modifiers on these. Um, there we go. Let's just do this. There we go. And... Uh, really try to beef these up as much as possible, but we'll see how that goes. Um, bink, 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 bink. Cool, that's all of them. So let's see how beefy we can make these are. So the first thing I want to do is get the speed as fast as possible on this bad boy. Right now it's reload is at 2.5 seconds, and we want to make it as fast as possible. So what is this doing? Um, this doesn't seem to be changing it all that much. Let us do some redstone blocks here. Let's let's speed this process up a little bit here. Like a so. All right, so you guys come out. You go in there like that. And there we go. Okay, so let's just get this thing as fast as possible because I don't believe, like if you add quartz to this thing, it doesn't really do anything. Um, it, it increases its melee, which is obviously not something I'm worried about, so. Um, oh, okay. Now you're at 100. Now, what did that increase its speed up to? <coughs> now it's at 1.35. Still a little bit slow, but that's okay. We will... Oh, let me get more of these guys going. I have zombie... Okay, I don't have a zombie spawner, so I'm kind of curious as to why I have so many zombies making noises right now. I don't know what's going on there. All right, that should be a good amount to get this to the next speed level. I don't know, I have one modifier remaining, so. Um, hopefully. Okay, and now we are started on our path to that. And now you are basically as fast as you're going to get at almost half a second. I, th I remember back in the day you could get down to like a quarter second, uh, 0.25, but I mean, that's still not too shabby if you ask me. It's a little over a half a second. That's that's pretty quick. Now for this guy, there's a couple things we want to do. We want to do moss on it. So I have two, two modifiers, but I can add more. So let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up with some quartz. Is that going to make a difference? That's half a heart. Uh, I don't know. I psh, I hope we can get this pretty beefy. I mean, I've made a freaking monster bow before. And I'm hoping we can get back to that. Let me... What are we up to now? We're up to one total heart. Okay. So now... I'm currently right there. So I have one modifier remaining at one heart. I could get it up to two hearts and then add the extra modifier to add um, the moss to it. So then I don't have to repair them all that much because I think 96 bolts should be more than enough. Hey, why am I not speeding this process up? Here we go. So we'll see. Are you at two hearts yet? You're at a heart and a half. So between the bow... And 
So it's a 96 and 96. It's a heart and a half. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's go get a gold block and a diamond. And let's see. Hey, come here. There we go. And a diamond. Or is it? Yeah, I think that's right. It's been a while since I've uh, really upgraded anything on Tinkers. So I believe I can put you in, you in, you. And that adds a modifier. Cool. So let's get some more quartz on it. Wait, what's the other modifier increase? Um, because, well, yeah, let me add the moss. I think I should have enough mossy bricks. I found a uh, dungeon. Or not a dungeon. Yeah, dungeon, whatever it is, down when I was mining earlier. And yes, I do. Cool. All right, so let's grab the moss and get that on there. And let's go test this little guy out. I mean, this is obviously not a really, really beefy bow, but no, oh, not you, not you, you. Did I put the, I put the extra modifier on the bow. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. So I'm going to need one of you. Did I grab that? Yes. And a diamond. Gosh, darn it. That's okay. We can add an extra modifier to both of them. I could actually add some more speed to the, the crossbow, or I could add moss to the crossbow. I don't know which one would be better right now. No, no, stop the nonsense. Um, bolts, you and you. There we go. Now I got my extra modifier. So now I've got moss for auto repair. <clears throat> and you know what? I probably should add more speed to this. I mean, why not, right? and get that as fast as possible and we'll see how it works i think i think it'll be doable i think it'll be manageable i got some okay armor we should be able to take on the ender dragon pretty pretty easily i don't think there should be much of an issue all right cool so we're at 0.3 seconds that's not too shabby it's not the quarter second that you know I would like, but let's go ahead and load you up. Yes, that's fast. Oh yeah, that's fast. So even if my hearts aren't that great, um, because I'm at one and a half hearts there and I'm at eight hearts there, so that gives me nine and a half hearts. I mean, that's, that's almost one shot in any vanilla mob. So I think that's okay. I think, I think that will work. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm like, I'm trying to debate with myself if I'm actually okay with it, but I think it'll be all right. It's not a monster bow. It's not going to like one shot the, uh, the ender dragon by any means, but as fast as it shoots, I think we should be able to take out the ender dragon pretty easily like that. So let us, well, let me recharge. Come here. Let me go ahead and recharge that bad boy. And then we will go ahead and make some ender eyes like so. I don't have any blaze powder huh okay there's eight blaze powder and I have plenty of these guys too so there's 25 okay so that's plenty of eyes of ender so let's go ahead and now we got 33 of them that's that's more than enough that is more than enough so over here to our checklist we have our crossbow and bolts now we need to make the linking books. That is correct. We need to get into our Mistcraft stuff, which I lost some of it. I have the writing desk here, as well as my Simber portfolio. And actually, I don't need any of that. I just need to make this guy, the unlinked books, which is, I'm gonna need the ink mixer. So I've got that guy. And I'm gonna need the book binder which is that guy. And let's just set this up. Let's set it up over here on this wall real quick because, well, why not? All right, so there's the ink mixer. There is the book binder and then the desk can go right there. Cool, cool, cool. So I need to make a couple of those pages. Um, the link panel, which I believe is a paper and, oh, how do I make a link panel? It's been since like day one since I made those. Um, panel. Uh, 
Where is the link panel? Wow, I've already forgotten how to make them. Gosh darn it. Oh, I need to get ink anyways. Let me grab some coal. I've got some of you. And that should work. I don't know if that works or not. No, it has to be ink. Okay. Well, if anything, I can go get some squiddies in a second. Whoa, there we go. Mouse freaking out. Uh, do I have any ink? I have no ink. All right. So let's go kill some squiddies to get some ink. Fill that bad boy up. And I've got the paper. Now we just got to make the books and stuff. All right. I know that there are guys around here. Hey, that makes it really difficult because they keep like falling through the roof down there. So I know there's some down here. Aha. Hello guys. As you can see, there's been a lot of them just kind of storing up over. They're not dying though. Oh, are they? Yes, they are. Never mind. Oh, get some air real quick. Okay. And let's get some more ink. There we go. Apparently they are very attracted to these blocks right here. Kind of unique. All right, come on. Swim, 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 swim. I feel so slow. I don't have my boots on. I don't have my jetpack on, but I've got 29 ink, so we're good there. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating link books and I'm going to have like a portal room uh, going to all the different areas. So instead of going to the nether portal, I can just use my link book to get back and forth as well as, you know, coming back here. So let us throw some ink in there. Oh, that's right. Now I remember it is a bucket of water or bottle. Do I have any bottles? I don't have any bottles. So, uh, water. I totally forgot about this recipe. Yes, it's water and then the ink. And I need to make some bottles. Which needs uh, glass. I got glass. Right, like a so. So let's make up a couple bottles real quick. One, two, three. And then let me go grab some water. Um, I can put my boots back on because that is just really slow without those boots. I feel like I'm moving in slow motion. That's just craziness. Okay. So bottles, get the buckets out, grab the bottles. I have to stop here or I'll freeze the water like that. Darn it. There we go. There we go. Water bottles complete. And now I can make the ink vials, which I believe is just one water bottle or and two ink or so, something like that. Uh, ink vial. There it is. It's been a while. Um, like do? Yeah, there we go. One. Let me throw all of you in there. So I didn't need the um, ink sacks, but it's cool. We've got a couple now. Let's just make a whole bunch and put you in here like this. Right, now I need some paper, which I should have a little bit left. Sweet, we've got a little bit of paper. Oh, and I'm gonna need leather. I'm now remembering this. I am now remembering this. Cool, I only need two books, so this will work. So if I throw the paper in there, I have two link panels like that. And then I put the link panel in here. Or is it the leather that goes there? And I put the link panel there or there. Where, where does the link panel go? Hold on. Oh, you know what? This might just be books. This one just might be books. Um, did I just use all my paper? Where, oh, no, it's still in here. Okay. Let us try this. I'm trying not to have to look up the recipe, but I might have to. Although, I think I have books. Let me, before I waste my paper, am I... Yes, I do have books. Okay, cool. So, let me grab these. And we'll put all that back in. And then this is giving me the blank book, right? No. I know how to do this. I've done it before. Hold on. How do you make that stinking book? This guy, unlinked book, linking book, unlinked book. Is it over in the book binder? I don't think it is. Ah, uh, hold on, that might do it. That might do it. Um, leather, that's what it is. I just wasn't putting it in the right space. 
nope, not you, you. I put the leather in there like that. I give it a name like unknown. No, that's not the one I want. I don't, I'm not trying to make, I'm trying to make the regular book. Hold on, what is going on here? I'm so confused right now. Is it just leather and linking? Ha ha, there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> I knew I'd get it eventually. Okay, so I need to make a room for just um, teleporting. I might actually do them right here and just do the book stands all over the place. So let me do that. Let me make another one of you. So we can set this up in the end and I don't have to worry about it, right? So we're gonna link you to right, well, we'll put you right here. All right, so that's gonna link to there. Okay, cool. That one we're taking with us. And that's gonna link me back here. And then when we get there, I can link this book to the end and that'll bring me back. Okay, cool. Yes, 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 we've got this. We have this, we are good to go. So what I guess I'm gonna go do now is head out and try to find the good old fashioned um, stronghold. And then once I do that, we will take our trip to the end and hopefully kill this ender dragon. So let's see, which way are we going? That way, okay. Oh, I should probably get my jetpack. <laughs> That'd probably help a little bit. All right, so we're gonna head out, go find this stronghold and we will be right back. All right, we found our stronghold. It wasn't too far away. However, I did make one major mistake. I forgot to bring freaking um, torches to, to turn off the spawner. And I have nothing to do that with, but we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up here. And let's head to the end. Here we go. Oh, goodness gracious. I hope my bow is enough. I'm now kind of regretting this decision because, well, my armor isn't the best. Whoa. Okay, this is a personal first for me. I have never spawned inside, like, the island. That's actually really cool. I've, this has never happened to me before. But, oh, shoot. I gotta get out of here quickly. Okay. Where are you at, Mr. Ender Dragon? Let me turn my hover back on and let's see if we can do this. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? I can, there we go. I'm not really too worried about the crystals. Ah, there you are. Yeah, it's not all that strong. I mean, I put a couple hits on him, but This thing shoots so fast, I need to monitor my <laughs> my arrows, or my bolts. Oh, uh, there you are. I mean, it should be pretty quick. Not too bad, not as fast as I wanted it to be, but. Come on, come on, nope. Are those clouds stopping me from shooting this thing? Man, don't be annoying. Okay, we're getting this done. Slowly but surely, we'll get this done. I ha I'm not even next to an Enderman, how are you? Hey, give me all my arrows back. Oh, hey, you're getting a little froggy there, homie. Okay, it shoots fast but I haven't quite figured out the accuracy on it yet. That's okay, we'll get there. Give me my arrows back. I'm down to five, ooh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to let those uh, repair themselves a little bit. I'm gonna need, I'm definitely gonna need some better bolts, that's for sure. That kind of goes without saying. I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and uh, let my arrows regenerate <clears throat> and then once they repair themselves, we'll be back at it. So I'm gonna fly around and stay away from the Enderman right now, or Ender Dragon. So I decided to kind of do it the smart way and speed the process up. So I'm dropping off all this extra stuff that I don't need anymore. And 
my inventory is full. Ah, no, we need more inventory. But anyways, I set the linking book over there and then I brought this one back. And so now we can just go back and forth doing this and take this bad boy out. Now that I am fully repaired and not waiting on them. Where are you at, sir? Where are you at? There we go. Got your health down a little bit before I left. Come on. This is going to take a minute, isn't it? In it. I don't want to use all my arrows and not kill them. It's not too bad. I'm down to 14. I should be able to do this. Should be able to do this without having to get more. Come on. Come on, buddy. Almost done. Yeah, there we go. Got my heart, which is all I really, really cared about. And now we're about to get a ton of XP. Rain down that XP. Yes. And make sure I don't fall in the portal. And now we've got the egg, which is awesome. Wow. I did not remember getting all this uh, draconic ore, too. Oh, that's awesome. So that wasn't all that bad. I probably could have done it a little bit better, but all in all, not too bad. Sorry, guys. My mouse has been acting weird. I think it's time to upgrade. But anyways... Got a couple yellow hearts. We can start looking at making some heart canisters, but that's the bad boy we wanted right there, the draconic heart. And let's see what this epic shader we got is today. We got, um, okay. You super. Sure. Um, cool. Well, anyways, um, I don't have a torch on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the egg here for right now. We'll just come back and get that later. Not a big deal. And where did, <laughs> I should probably mark it on the map. I'm pretty sure it's over here. My book, that's where I came up. Yeah, so there's the book right there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We are good to go. Ender Dragon defeated. That's awesome. Quick, fast, and simple. Not a big deal. And now we are back in the overworld. That is outstanding. Let me go ahead and put this armor back because I really don't like it, but I needed some armor for this episode. So, yes. And actually, I'm going to put my jetpack back in here like so. And there we go. So that's the Ender Dragon. We've got it. We've got our linking books. We can start uh, setting up like an Ender farm in the end. So then that way I can use this for other useful stuff and it doesn't cost me nearly as much. And yeah. I think, well, I'm out of arrows, so apparently um, that was a good last shot. I didn't even realize that. That was my last arrow. That was uh, cutting it close there. Interesting. All right. Well, guys, that's the end. We've done it. The game's over. Nothing left. We've killed the Ender Dragon. Fortunately, there's a lot more stuff, like the Chaos Dragon, as well as the Gaia Guardian, and yeah, there's just so many more places to go. And I'm looking forward to going to all of them. But for right now, I think we're just going to wrap it up there. We've got a decent bow. As you can see, it wasn't the greatest thing, but it was enough to kill the Ender Dragon relatively easily. And so I think at that point, we should call this a success. And uh, yeah, come back next time, guys. Yeah, yeah. We've got some fun stuff planned. I'm going to dip a little bit back into the magic realm of things. So uh, until then. Y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.